How's my hair? Strong. So strong. My hair could lift a car off a baby if it had to. Absolutely. Well, I like to hear. Taking care of business. Education is our future. Farmers are this nation's backbone. Bankers, women, veterans, Filipino tilt to world operators are this nation's backbone. Salamat. Cam Brady will win his fifth term in Congress simply by signing the registration ballot. That's one of the perks of running unopposed. Let's get this bad boy signed. I don't know if that's supposed to be pushing or pull. Hey. Who is that guy? This has been my dream, running for office. You're challenging our four-term congressman. How do you expect to do that? I say that again. Best dress so far, yeah. really? Yes, sir. I got these socks on eBay. You can't go wrong with getting socks on eBay. Used. Used. You ever That's to, okay. You ever go okay. to used oh. jock straps? I got a whole thousand like, all the time. <laughs> Yeah. A uh, thousand right. for a dollar? Yeah. It's a good website. Use jogstraps.com. Um, I gotta say, I think the premise is great to, to learn a little bit about you guys. I was wondering if this were going to happen for real. If Will Ferrell were going to run against Zach Galifianakis in Congress, what is an attribute, a positive attribute about yourself that you would want your constituents to know about? And what is a negative attribute about the man sitting next to you, about your opponent, that you would want your constituents to know about? Oh, uh, uh, for me, um, I would say that uh, I'm always uh, pretty prompt. I'm mm -hmm. always on time. And for my opponent, uh, uh, he's he's kind of a he's a hairy guy. He has a lot of body hair. Yeah, I don't have any body hair. <laughs> I don't have any body hair. You know this. You know this. I thought you had a lot of body hair. Those times in the gym and the times all the, all the working out we do, you know, when I that was, peel you my know shirt what? off, you that know, was someone else. I'm so sorry. That was someone else. You've been hanging out with Valanche too yeah. long. <laughs> I don't like to litter. I would, so, I would, I would I'm be very anti littering. Yeah. Negative about Will. He's incredibly racist. <laughs> now that I'm running for Congress, we're going to be under a lot of scrutiny. Anybody have anything that they want to share with us? I said the Lord's name in vain at school. Is that it? I went to the petting zoo and I, I let the goat lick my wiener. That little guy's a weirdo. I'm gonna smoke that clown. We got some work to do, right? How you doing? I hate to break it to your friend, but uh, your balloon's getting ready to pop. And that balloon's full of your own butt toots. Are you trying to trash talk me? Your mama's like a vacuum cleaner. She sucks, she blows, and gets laid in a closet. That's what nuts feel like. Stop it. One of the, the great lessons you guys have to learn in the movie is, is the art of trash talking, how to trash talk your opponent. Mm -hmm. Now, on August 10th, you guys have some pretty heavyweight opponents. You have Meryl Streep and, and Steve Carell and Tommy Lee Jones and Hope Springs. You have Jason, or the new Jason Bourne movie, Bourne Legacy. You have Spike Lee, the new Spike Lee film. So I was going to give you guys the opportunity to maybe throw a little trash talk out there. I didn't realize there was that much competition. Yeah, we don't, we're not yeah, going to survive. We're, we're not, we're going to do terribly. <laughs> yeah, this is not yeah. going to work out. You're going to be yeah. fine. You, you, yeah. you got to have that, you got to no, have that, that up. Really? The Jason, uh, Bourne Identity? The, born, the new Bourne Legacy. What else? Is Meryl Streep. Is that the Meryl third or the fourth the one? The fourth one, without Matt Damon. Okay. Meryl Streep. Yeah, Born Identity, number four. Oh. It's going down. Who wants to see that for the fourth time? <laughs> yeah, why, who would yeah. want to watch Meryl Streep? She's no good. Right? Yeah, you know? she's never done anything. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it to me, Meryl. Washington, D.C. is a mess. How do you say it's a mess in Hebrew? Balagani. Donkey Kong? You want a holy war, little man? Let me hear a Cam Brady 012. Shove a throwing star up a Chinese monkey! Now, there is a point in the movie where both of you guys are, are taught the phrase, I'm gonna teach you not to suck. What is that moment? You guys have obviously had great careers. You're here, you're sitting here right now. What was that, that moment that kind of taught you in your career how not to suck? No, you know, the, the, the thing about, um, and you totally don't want this answer, but it's too late. Uh, <laughs> the thing about anyone who's in comedy, um, you, you never feel 100% confident. Mm -hmm. So. So that thing of like a moment where don't 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 suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's happened. Well, guys, I am fans, and I can tell you that you honestly do not suck. Okay. Oh, and, what and a nice thing you. to so, say. See, perfect. <laughs> there you go. And I'm a big fan of the movie. Okay. Hilarious. So thank you thank guys you so much are. for your time. Thanks really so much. Thank, thank you guys. They wanna get Out there is that a crossbow? Ah! Ho! Oh!
Oh, Black Hawk down! Gentlemen, we've got some babies to kiss. That's my baby to kiss. Stop it! They wanna get mad. He just punched a baby. Is anyone asking how my hand feels after punching that iron-like jaw of that baby?